to do on any project you want to create is to get the wool onto the needles. This is done by creating a slip knot and then a series of loops upon one needle called stitches. So on here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stitches. So depending on what your project instructions tell you will depend on how many you need to make. So for example, this scarf, it says cast on 18 stitches. STS represents the word stitches. Sometimes you'll see the word cast on is represented by the letters C and O. So if you see the word CO followed by a number and then STS, that means you cast on however many number of stitches your pattern requires you to do. So the first thing to learn is how to do a slip knot. A slip knot is basically your very first stitch loop on your needle that is created by a certain knot. So this is called your tail end of the yarn and the bit that's attached to the ball of wool is called your working yarn. So drape the tail over like that, wrap it round once twice. Keep hold of it here with your thumb if that's easier. So you've got your two strands. Pull the first one up and over. And just move them backwards a bit. So you've pulled it up over to by here. Grab the other one and do the exact same but take it off your fingers and then pull the strands and you should have your slip knot. So the reason this is called a slip knot is because if you pull on one strand, it tightens the loop. If you pull on the other strand, it loosens it. So the knot is slipping up and down the yarn. All you need to do then is just place that upon your needle and pull whichever one it was. It is this one? Like that. So that gives you your first stitch to work with. There are a number of different ways to do a slip knot, but I found this is the easiest method and the other methods didn't quite give you a proper slip knot, so when you pulled the strands differently, it didn't slip. So to me, that's not a slip knot, that's just a knot. So if you find any other easier methods, by all means, there's no correct or wrong way to do them, so long as you've got your slip knot there and your first stitch to work with. So you've got your first stitch, now let's create some more. This time, you are not creating more slip knots. You're going to start working with this stitch to create your next one. Again, there are a number of ways to create your cast on, as it's called. If your project doesn't specify what type of cast on to do, then do whatever one is easiest for you to do. Otherwise, if it tells you to do a specific cast on, then I'd recommend you follow the instructions. So you've got your first stitch, grab your other needle and what you're going to do is insert your needle up through that first stitch like that. So needle goes through, grab your working yarn, you don't want to work with your tail yarn so keep that out the way. You want your working yarn and you are going to go around this needle uh, anti-clockwise. So you are going behind the needle and around in front of it and between. Then with this point, you are going to go back down through this stitch like that. And then once that's on there, you're then going to use this point to go back up through this one like that. And there's your second stitch. You can then continue to wrap your wool around that needle, go back down and out, and then this one goes underneath that one, and there's your third stitch. And then you could just keep on going like so. Then 
There are a number of different ways to do a cast on method. Each one produces a different edge result. Some are flexible, some are more tight, some make it more stretchy. It entirely depends on what kind of result you are after. I'm not going to show all of them in this video now, I'll save it for another video. But for now, move on to my next video on how to create your first row using the knit stitch.